Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Smita and I'm a solutions architect working with AWS. And today we have Mukesh Kabra from Swiggy. Mukesh, uh, please introduce yourself. Hello, hi Smita. I'm Mukesh Kabra, working with Swiggy for the last six years as a software development engineer. I am part of the team that take care of the development of multiple tools in CICD so that speed of the execution of feature releases increases and code shift faster to the production. Uh, awesome. Thanks, uh, thanks, Mukesh. Please tell us what Swiggy does. Sure. Swiggy is India's leading only one delivery platform with a take-first approach to logistic and solution-first approach to consumer demands. With a presence in 500 plus cities across India, partnership with hundreds of thousands of restaurants and a 2 lakh plus strong independent fleet of delivery executive. We deliver unparalleled convenience to users. This unparalleled convenience can be ordering the food or a daily essential within a few minutes. Thanks. Thanks for explaining what, what Swiggy does. I'm a personal user for of Swiggy and I've been using Swiggy for uh, delivering my food as well as my daily essentials. And I kind of feel that everyone in India knows what Swiggy is. So um, coming back to the artifact management solution, um, you were using an artifact management solution before. Um, for our audience who, who doesn't know what an artifact management solution is, artifact management solution or artifact repository are used to store, organize, and distribute artifacts in a single centralized location. And artifact repository stores build artifacts produced by continuous integration and makes them available for automated deployment to testing, staging, and production environments as well. Um, so coming back to Swiggy, what were the pain points of the earlier solution, um, earlier solution of artifact management that you were using? Yeah, so actually we use an open source, open source artifact management solution that was deployed on AC2 instance on AWS. The main problem of that of maintaining that we need to do version update, patching, and all other maintenance activities. We wanted to focus more on working on our business critical capabilities, but then we were spending a lot of time on maintenance, and hence we were thinking about a more managed offering. Right. And then what made you um, think about AWS Code Artifact? Yeah, so we started looking for options. We wanted something managed, which can be reduce our effort of maintenance. We were using few of the AWS managed services and thought it, AWS has a managed service, which could provide us an artifact management solution. And then we found a code artifact. Uh, from our initial research, it looked promising. It was fully managed and we did not have to worry about scaling. We use Gradle as our source package manager and code artifact support there. Another plus point of us was that there was no limit on number of total size of the packages that you can store in a code artifact repository. Cost-wise, we were okay too. Is it built on pay for what you use model? Thanks. So for our audience, um, AWS Code Artifact is a fully managed artifact repository service that makes it easy for organizations of any scale to securely store, publish, and share software packages used in the software development process. Code Artifact works with commonly used package managers like Maven, Gradle, NPM Yarn, Pip Twine, and NuGet as well. So um, coming back to Swiggy, how did you evaluate AWS Code Artifact? Yeah, so uh, before adopting the 100% Code Artifact, we did a proof of concept. We migrated a few of the packages to Code Artifact from our open source solution we used before. We experimented with big and small packages and checked how Code Artifact handled them. The users of these packages were able to fetch these packages as is when required. That was smooth. But then we have to work with setting up a pipeline so that new changes also go into Code Artifact. We have done it via our existing CI setup, which runs on Code Pipeline and Code Build. We also want to manage access of these packages, packages in since code artifact integrated with the IEM, it provides us with the access control we were after. We evaluated code artifact for a while and found out that our maintenance effort has been decreased. Awesome. Um, please tell us some of the challenges you faced along the way. Sure. Yeah. The, so the first challenge, or I should say, confusion was about the transitive dependencies. 
इस पैकेज विल हैव टू टाइप ऑफ डिपेंडेंसीज डायरेक्ट एंड ट्रांजिटिव डिपेंडेंसी डायरेक्ट डिपेंडेंसीज आर द वन वी एक्सप्लिसिटली इंक्लूड इन आवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड द ट्रांजिटिव डिपेंडेंसीज आर रिक्वायर्ड बाय द डायरेक्ट डिपेंडेंसीज एंड एवरी डिपेंडेंसीज डिक्लेयर्ड अप्लाइज टू अ स्पेसिफिक स्कोप फॉर एग्जांपल सम डिपेंडेंसीज शुड बी यूज्ड फॉर कंपाइलिंग द सोर्स कोड वेयर द अदर डिपेंडेंट अदर्स आल्सो नीड टू बी अवेलेबल एट रन टाइम सो वी वर यूजिंग अ टेस्ट स्कोप in the transitive dependency was not getting downloaded and we were thought it some problem with the code artifact later we found out that it's actually gradle's behavior that transitive dependencies in the test scope will not be downloaded it only download for the compiler runtime scope you need to specify the test scope in case you want to test the dependencies to be downloaded so clock code artifact was working as expected um thanks so much mukesh that was a great insight on how we use as co aws code artifact to manage their artifacts i'm sure that was super helpful for our audience for you watching you can get started with aws code artifact as well please see the links attached in the description of the video thanks so much for watching